Body and the Beat by Dragon, one of the signature bass lines by the band. Hi, I'm Reese from the Eastern Suburbs School of Music. Gonna teach you how to play this tune. We've got an intro and a verse to learn. That's that riff I just played. A chorus and a bridge, those three parts, you got the whole song. So let's talk about this. So, a riff, a repeating piece of music is what a riff is. We are going to play all on our thick fourth string. O, two, five. That is E, F sharp, and A on your thick fourth string. Dropping down a string, fret two and four. O, two, five, O, two. Five, two, four. So, kind of based out of this F sharp pentatonic scale, for those of you who know your scales and your music theory. Skipping on to string number one at the second fret. Two, two, four. Finishing on the F sharp that is on the fourth fret of your second string. Is part one of the riff and it might help you to grab the tab sheet that I've created it's on my patreon page you'll find a link to that below in the video description or a little tab appearing above me now gives you access to all of the tabs for the videos that I create and then in reply to that the second half of this riff same start O, two, five, four, two, four, numbers, numbers, numbers. Second fret of your second string. So it's just like we're taking the first part, just lift it up a string. And you've got that riff. That is the part you need to learn for the introduction of the song and the verse of the song. It just keeps repeating that. Three, four. Talking about the body. Pause the video, learn that riff, and when you're ready, let's have a look at the chorus. The chorus, let me just play through it. It's the part where the band is singing and the beat comes down. One, two, three, four. There's your chorus. So really just playing the root notes that the chords that the keyboard and the guitar player are playing the root notes of those chords. So we've got E to F sharp, that's open to second fret, and then down to B, and then A, G sharp over your E chord. Why can we do that? The G sharp note is in the E chord. Uh, that's your chorus. Open two, two, two for the B. Open two, fifth fret, fourth fret. And just watch the accents that they put in there. The accent being the emphasis of the particular beat. In this case, the off beat, the and beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. And one. Three and four and one and two and three and four. And that's your chorus. Once again, as I said earlier, might be easier to grab the tab sheet off the Patreon page. That's Reese Let R H Y S L E T T on Patreon. It helps support this music school, the Eastern Suburbs School of Music. Uh, pause the video, learn the chorus. When you're ready, let's have a look at the bridge. Last section, I'm going to call it bridge, but it's an instrumental break. We get some uh, horns and some keyboard parts being played over the top of this. One, two, three, four. Alright, 
let's work our way through that. We've got the bridge, we're playing eight to the bar, and a B, second fret of your third string. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just that pushed note, uh, playing in quavers, eight to the bar. Uh, if you don't know what that is, look up my little video, that'll appear above me now, or in the link below to describe quavers out for you, that particular rhythm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Bs, and then moving to the fifth fret. D, and then straight up a string to A, You're ending up on the thick top string, B. And just using that open fourth string, the E, just as a, a little fill note, a little passing note, B. Is the first half. Pause it if you need to and learn those. Count to your eights, so you'll play all those notes correctly. Second half of this instrumental bridge, where on the A, we're doing eight to a bar. One, two, three, four at fifth fret. Then this set of passing notes, 4 2 0. Oh. Just running back through the scale is what's happening there as to why we can include those notes over the A chord. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Back to our B, and once again that pushed accent is what that bar will sound like. And the bar that follows just fills eight Bs to the bar and open at the end of it, whether you put that in or not, is kind of negligible. If you want to be exact to the recording, put it in. Uh, that then repeats, but instead of moving back to the B note to finish out, it's finishing on a D, fifth fret, third string. Let me put it all in context. I've also, we'll do a cover version, and when that is uploaded, there'll be a link above me and a link in the description below that will have me playing along with the full song and calling out the parts as we go along. So not your standard cover version, a lesson as I play along with the tune. Bridge, one, two, three, four. D, A. A. B. O. And that's the full song. You get those three parts, the intro and the verse, the chorus, and this instrumental bridge. You're gonna be playing the full track in no time at all. Grab the tab off my Patreon page if you've learned something of this video. Click that thumbs up button for a like, hit subscribe on our channel, and it'll help keep you in touch with all the base Aussie videos that I upload, as well as some international guests as well along the way that I do lessons for too. I uh, enjoy playing Body and the Beat by Dragon on your bass guitar and enjoy plenty of the other bass lessons by Dragon I've got on this channel as well. Look around and enjoy.